A discovery that could mark a turning point in the fight against autism. Our medical correspondent, Dr. Jennifer Ashton, is here with the encouraging news. Good, Good morning. morning, Maggie. Diagnosing and treating autism often poses some significant challenges. Now, findings from the largest study to date may change all of that. Uh-oh. When Susan Murray discovered she was expecting her third boy, her joy was tempered with fear. The worry has been there f since the first moment. 16-year-old Owen was just 18 months when his parents received the diagnosis that changed their lives. Take us back and, and tell me what that was like a little bit. I remember watching Owen change, where he's walking on his toes and started moving his hands in a strange way and sort of shrieking. He'd never done it before. You catch it. A breakthrough discovery may offer answers for families like the Murrays. Three new studies involving nearly 11,000 people showed the strongest genetic link to autism yet, a gene mutation present in two-thirds of kids with autism. This establishes for the first time that uh, children with autism, they have defects in their genes, which is causing the problem. Using the world's largest DNA database, researchers discovered a defect that disrupts synapses, the way brain cells communicate with each other. Oh. Language, our gesture, our facial expressions. If the synapses between the different brain cells are not functioning properly, it's very difficult to carry out those complex social behaviors. Hands up. These studies offer families more hope for better diagnosis and early intervention. Run, 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 run. We have children who will have children. And that clearly is an important piece of the puzzle. While this gene discovery is hugely significant, possible treatment options are still about five to 10 years away, Maggie. But in, in the case of this family, for example, where one son may have autism and another one does, both could benefit from these findings. Absolutely, and that's what's so important. By finding this gene that disrupts this protein, it really does have implications for diagnosis, early intervention, and possibly treatment. Very important. Yeah, huge, thank you, Dr. You Ashton. Bet.